Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Taurus for the 31st of March 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Taurians who need to hear these messages today. Who are the Taurians who need to meet? To meet. Who need to meet? Hmm. 21 and 7. This is interesting. 21 in the Major Arcana is the world which is an ending to a major cycle in your life. Seven of Swords is also a men ending, a mending. I keep saying, you see the words I'm using, is like somebody wants you to return to them, or you want to return to somebody. Somebody wants a union here with the Two of Cups, but we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody doesn't have a cup anymore. Somebody spilled their cup. So one person wants to have this Two of Cups situation. They want to go... Maybe this person wants to invite you out or you want to invite this person for a drink. But this person doesn't want to. The other person, one person doesn't want in this situation. 2A could be significant or A2. It could be an apartment number. A2 is a paper format. It's a bigger paper format. It's like maybe somebody wants to paint a picture for the other person or do like a portrait of the other person. Um, A2. Also... Um, Hmm. What could it be? <sighs> 21, like I said, is the world. It's the end. It's free time 7. Okay, so uh, although it's the end, somebody doesn't want to let go. So that's what I'm getting here. It's the end of a relationship or a soulmate connection. Um, could be a karmic contract, karmic soulmate possibly here. And somebody doesn't want to let go. They want to renew the whole thing. They want to have a better cycle this time. With the Seven of Swords reverse, somebody's no longer running. So I'm getting that somebody was running from this connection for a long time. They are hiding. This is cheating, stealing and all that. But it's not just that. I, I Here in this particular situation, I feel like somebody was running from the connection. And they stopped running. But they stopped running because one of the other person has uh, spilled their cup. They no longer feel an energetic pull from this person. This person let go. And that's why this person wants to come back now and have the Two of Cups. That's what I'm picking up here. King of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who has very deep old feelings here. This is Scorpio energy. Scorpio is your opposite sign. Is Yes, it is. Yeah, Taurus and Scorpio are opposite signs. This person could be your opposite sign or this person could feel like you're the, the yin to the yang or the yang to the yin. Like you're their counterpart. But they only started feeling that you're their counterpart when you stopped giving a, you know. Now they want to have an equal give and take. They want to have a balance in the situation. This person might want to help you with something too. Um, financially possibly. Or they want to give you a job. They want to work on something with you. With the Six of Pentacles, their Queen of Wands. So now all of a sudden they have a lot of passion for you. Love and passion. I think this is this person. They have love and passion for you. And they want to give you something. They keep thinking about the past. They're thinking about the fact that they broke your, your heart in the past. And uh, they want to say sorry now. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. They want this union. But now you're guarded towards them. And it's the end indeed. It is the end. You've ended it with this person. In your heart it's over, right? Your heart is in reverse. Now you have like the, the black heart here. Yeah. And now we've got the eight of wands. So communication is coming in for you because you've cut this person out energetically completely. Yeah, exactly. They're coming in with a love offer now. So what's going to happen? Should you take this love offer? Should you take this love offer? Of course, I don't think you want it. This is a yes. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. This is indeed your counterpart. There's a lot of love here. But I feel like you feel numb right now. You feel like there's no more love. Maybe if this person's actually going to come to you and talk to you and express their feelings, your feelings will come back too. But right now, it's like you don't feel anything anymore. You just want it to be over. But again, see, if they come towards you, then you are advised to, to take this love offer. Ten of Wands. It's like the burdens are over. It's like the hard part is over now with the Ten of Wands. The burdens are being dropped. There's no more karma here or there's no more 
Seven of Cups, King of Swords. Look, King of Swords came right on top of the Queen of Swords. So it's an end to confusion. There's no more confusion. There's no more burdens. This this person doesn't want to play mind games anymore. That's what I'm getting. They used to play mind games with you. They used to confuse you. They used to... You You were the one who was always had having to, to put in an effort here towards the situation. Five of Wands. There was a lot of conflict. This person would bring a lot of conflict and competition in your life. This person could have triangulated you with others. I think this is a man you're dealing with. You're the woman and this is a man. Okay. So is it over? Is this cycle over? Has this person changed? Two of Swords. Hmm. It's up to you if it's over or not. Ten of Pentacles. You could have the Ten of Pentacles with this person if you chose to, okay? But um, I think you've been hurt too much and you might you might choose otherwise. Two of Wands again. Oh my God, look, 21 came out again. This is very interesting because I was talking about the world. 21, the end of a major cycle. We have the 21 twice. It came out twice. So I feel like... Um, I feel like you're going to set yourself free from this connection. You don't want to be the wounded warrior anymore. You don't want to be anxious anymore. You're freeing yourself from this anxiety and from this trauma. You're, you're free. You're setting yourself free. It's over. Look, free ace is here. There's a big new beginning coming in for you. And I don't think you want this new beginning to be with this person. 21 could be significant. It could be somebody's age, but I don't think you're 21. I think you could be older than 21. Because we've got kings and queens here. But 21, you could have known this person for 21 years. Maybe you've been back and forth with this person for 21 years. Or the first time you met them was 21 years ago. Or maybe you haven't seen them in 21 years. I don't know, okay? I'm just saying. Uh, there's something about the number 21. But again, 21 is free times 7. It's um, free cycles of your life right because every seven years all the cells in our body um, are replaced by new cells so yeah uh, it's like you're a new person you don't want this person back into your life because you feel like you're a new person like you don't fit with this person anymore but now because you don't feel like you fit anymore they think you fit so yeah it's up to you it's going to be good either way. Whether you take this person back or you start a new beginning on your own, you're going to be fine. That's the message I'm getting for you, Taurus. So there you go. Three of Cups. Three of Cups could talk about a reunion, a celebration. So you might reunite with this person and you might be happy. But um, you could also be very happy on your own. Anyway, this person could be taking a leap of faith towards you. They could be coming in to express their feelings, that they want to reunite, that they want to have happy, happy, joy, joy, and uh, yeah, stability, an equal give and take here. They want to give you something. I think this person wants to give you something, some kind of gift. Knight of Swords, it's going to happen soon. Maybe it's going to happen in Aries or Gemini season. Is this happening in Aries season? We're already in Aries season, so it might happen by the end of Aries season. Maybe before the 21st of April. This might happen before the 10, 21st of April. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, this is Cancer, right? Hmm. Anyway, they're coming in to, to uh, express their love here. King of Pentacles, and now they're stable. They actually want stability. They want uh, to move into calmer waters, right? To leave the past behind. This person could have blocked you. They could have... Um, yeah. Four of Swords. There was a separation. Knight of Pentacles. And this person took a very long time. Eight of Pentacles. This person could have been working on themselves a lot in this separation. But they waited too long, I think. And... Um, it's like you, you're you over them completely. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's over. For you, it is over. You don't want this anymore. But they're definitely coming back and you can trust them this time around. That's what I'm being shown. But again, I'm getting that I don't think you're going to take them back even though um, they are trustworthy. 
They waited for way too long. The separation was too long. So you've transformed, you've moved on. It's like you moved to another level. It's like you're not on the same uh, plane of existence almost. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. That's the message I have for Taurus. I hope this helps. Take care.